Here's a quick tutorial on how I keep my washing machine clean. The first thing to do is take out the detergent drawer. This is where all the soap goes in and um, your softener if you do use it. It's normally very, very dirty and grimy. You can press on the button at the top and this normally just lets you slide that out. If you find this video helpful and you enjoy the content that I'm putting out, please consider subscribing uh, to support my channel and liking this video. I then use a lime scale spray or an antibacterial spray, depending on what you feel like um, is needed. I then spray the whole thing, making sure that it, it's all covered. Then whilst that's working, I then come back to the water inlet and I just spray that as well. Um, and I'll leave this working for a little bit and then I'll go back and start scrubbing the detergent drawer. I absolutely love using this brush it's so easy it's battery operated and you just switch it on and it does all the hard work for you Then this is an important step. Make sure that you rinse it thoroughly to make sure that all that spray or cleaner that you have used is gone. You don't want that going onto your clothes. So just give it a good rinse. Then using the same brush but with a different brush head. This is more pointy. I then proceed to scrub where the water comes in. It's much easier to clean now because the spray has done all the hard work for you. So the brush is just simply removing uh, the dirt quite easily. Then I take a cloth and I wipe it. You don't have to do that much wiping because we're going to switch the washing machine on anyway. So this is just to remove the dirt that we've scrubbed away, nothing more. After this is done, go ahead and return your detergent drawer and that's the first bit done. The third step is the most important one. Oh my gosh, the door seal. This is where you can get mold. So this needs to be cleaned thoroughly and regularly. There's a smell in your washing machine, most likely it's coming from here because water does collect um, through here. So make sure that you clean that thoroughly. The fourth step is the door. So using the same spray, I just give it a good wipe um, to remove any of the lime scale. You will see some lime scale or detergent um, that's left in there. So give that a good wipe. The fifth step is where you remove the filter cover and then you have an emergency drain tube which is this one just needs to be pulled out and drained and you can see how dirty the water is already. Then you have the main filter where the debris goes to. I give this a good spray and I leave that to work whilst I take that filter and rinse it under the water. It doesn't really need much work. Um, just make sure that everything comes off. And I also did an extra step. I just sprayed it and then I'll come back and scrub it just to make sure that everything is super clean and making sure that all those smells and bad odors are not in your clothes when you wash them.
then put everything back and that will be dependent on your washing machine settings or parts i then use a cup of bicarbonate of solder and that's meant to neutralize remove odors and clean the insides and all the pipes of the washing machine put it on on a high degree program so i think i picked 60 degrees lowered the spin and just made it a quick wash and there you have it that's actually quite simple right i hope you found this video helpful and i'll see you on my next video